Hey, Ryan. Hey, this is Elk Creamer. And we're here today to address a uh, compilation video where we compiled uh, a bunch of our cannibal tests, or what we said, Tetsubo test, uh, against a Viking round. Uh, well, basically, our, our test proved that you know you can't just break the arm because the way the shield's held, uh, that I mean, it's, it's and the way it's designed, it's held by a center grip and gives that that doesn't happen. But everyone's saying with a smaller grip and a more dense uh, cannibal, which today we have an iron bar weighing in at almost 15 pounds, uh, we're going to test against it. It's over four feet high, which I don't think most cannibals are much longer than this. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see what will happen there. Uh, right De Deadliest Warrior uh, basically tested the shield with a metal brace. They had it braced up there, and he swung overhead and came straight down. Big old Brett Chan. And the problem I had with that is it wouldn't be braced like that. There's no way. Uh, the other thing is their cannibal was wood, and all the models online that they ordered would have weighed about maybe 11 pounds at the most. And That's they were right. trying to say 25, 30 pounds. Uh, this thing is very hard to wield. Yeah, and the studs they had on, on theirs, their 11 pound one on Deadliest Warrior, had upholstery studs that just came flying off. Oh, yes, yeah, so you just see them fly so off. So those are hits. useless. So any arguments we've had online about the studs, either you, what were you saying, you have to kind of like drive them through or something, and even right. then, if how do you big, have to wield it? If you had big old spikes sticking out, they would bend, break, and stuff like that, split your club. They wouldn't have done that. The only thing they used was little studs. And the reason they had little studs on there is they amplified the damage slightly to people with no armor, help thin in plate, you know, deform it more. But when you're fighting with a cannibal, if you need to parry something, you have to put your hand on the actual cannibal, let's say, to parry a, a weapon. That's and right. when this takes place, if you have uh, spikes on the end where you're grabbing it or bracing yourself with it, yeah. then what's going to happen is you're going to injure your own hand. So That's right. if it's little studs, yes, you can get away with that. The big old spikes. Uh, they didn't even do that on medieval uh, spiked, uh, like Morningstar type balls. They That's wouldn't right. do that. Not big old long spikes. They break off, uh, they bend, they lose a sharpness instantly, and they become pretty much useless. They are a death trap for you getting them stuck in the plate or something. You can't even pull it out. Yeah. So it's, you know, a weapon has to be wieldable, it has to be retrievable. And uh, you definitely don't want something that's going to injure you on your right, weapon. Which means it's got to basically be practical. Correct. And we're going to redo the test today. And hopefully I said this will be the end-all test. Uh, we don't know if it will be end-all. Everybody's going to still argue, I'm sure. But, I believe it. But this will be more of a tetsubo or like a Chinese iron club. Uh, you know, we're going to try to smash with a smash armor with reusing something to yeah, that well, degree. We'll, we'll, you know, I think the Better center grip. block is going to be a good indication of just how much acceleration you can put behind it and how much damage you can do before we hit the shield, and then the shield, I think, will be the, the ultimate test. And we'll talk about the mechanics today, when he doesn't get hurt, why we believe he's not being injured. Awesome. Right on. Which we haven't done before. Well, let's go smash some shit. Hell yeah. Damn! I don't you know. You split it right in I half, say Brad. That was, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I would say that if somebody was unarmored without a shield, this that would be a devastating weapon. But... You know, or through plate. If you could hit through someone, plate, if yeah. If he didn't move, that was awfully slow in the respects of uh, fast weapons. That is awfully slow. If he lets you swing it, yes, that would. Yeah, well, let's check it out against the shield. See what happens. Oh, definitely. Okay, we'll see if this will break the arm through the shield and break the shield, of course. And as you see, I just had my arm chopped. Let's try a little more power. How was that? Did it hurt? That wasn't even painful at all. That was great. Okay, you're yeah, ready. I'm feeling good about it. Oh! Now, my recovery time's a little slower there on that impact. Yeah, but how did it feel? Did it hurt? No, no, but I think yeah. I think the only advantage that gives you is it kind of slows you down my recovery. Let's try it again. Okay. Hold on, let me get, let me get, let me get set up. All right, I'm ready. Go. Oh! oh. That Sorry. Hurt. Elbow a little bit. That was good. Sorry. All he did is follow his shield edge and cut right into me. We're so. kind of myth-busting this thing because everybody's telling us that if we... Uh, put studs or spikes on it. First, if it was solid metal, if it was a solid metal bar, that would do it. Then they're saying if it has studs or little spikes like the one on the show, that would crack the shield. So that's why the show was correct. Remember, we're doing this like a Mythbuster type thing. We're trying to myth bust it because all our tests always prove this to be wrong. But we take our viewers' information very, very seriously. seriously. Yeah. So this is the only way I know to get these on here. And then we'll go back over with more tape after I get them on. So. There you go. That looks nice. Was well, just to put them on with the way we well, want yeah, them. Yeah, you want the adhesive facing up. 
Right, so we're going to put these on, make sure they're going to hit. This is going to count as one of them. Here, so we got 12 of them, and I can make sure that I hit with these. And if you see on the show, those are like little upholstery studs, and they fall out. They're not anywhere near as good as this is going to be on here with tape over it. And I dropped one. I well, actually dropped a few, but that's okay. I got them. But the way we're doing this is we're going to make sure that that's not the uh, nice, not the uh, case. Studded and ribbed for the shield's pleasure. Oh, definitely. And then we're going to go back around it with our pretty tape I got here. I was thinking something that looked kind of cool would be the thing to use. Nice. Yeah, it looks kind of Asian, Thran. That was a good choice. Yeah, I mean. Uh, hey, it's I hate, I hate the word Asian because Japanese, Chinese, Korean, they're all different cultures, but yeah, it does have what we say an Asian motif nowadays. Oh. Well, it's Canavo test. You had to put the dragon motif on. Oh yeah, definitely. This is just for, this is just to satisfy that other problem. And we don't want too much tape. We just want to stay on here good. We don't want too much because we want to make sure that it has full compression and impact and they're all there. And I want to make sure I hit with those on the actual shield. You can see that's as much as you could probably get away with. That looks pretty brutal, man. With. That's going to be gnarly. Where it Let's won't see what hurt it your own hand if they were all the way around it. You could grip it better and it wouldn't. But if you hit somebody, I guarantee you against a bone or something, that would cause some extra trauma. I think so. I really, I'm really curious to see what it does to the shield. Definitely. Let's check it out. And what we did is we also make sure we have a line for our edge so you know we're going to be hitting with our spikes as long as that's pointing towards them we'll be landing with those check it out dude do a medium one to start off with yeah oh dad gum man you're hitting it like an ogre let's do it again. i'm gonna do a really good crank one. it up crank it up ah! anything no pain i'm not injured let's see what the shield looks like well, you definitely tell they hit, but they didn't do anything to the shield, and they're intact. One of, oh, it ripped on one a little bit, but nothing too severe. Uh, want to try one more? Can yeah, I'll let's. Step with it? Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in and swing really all right, good. All right, all right. Oh, that hurt my hand. I guess that'd be oh. a bad one. Yeah, that would be a bad one. Wow. Yeah, you're not hurting me at all, but man, it, it definitely pushes me around. The shield looks totally intact. Uh, well, I'm not seeing any damage from these things. All we did is loosen one of our studs, but the rest of them are all here. There. Yeah, it's just gonna plants right off. That's sure looks that way. I want to get a. If you all notice, Brett Chan swung at a metal brace with the shield pretty much in this position, and we're gonna hit it the same way over here and see if we can take part of that shield off. And as you see, it wouldn't do anything because the shield just gives and moves. Another thing, y'all guys might think if I just swing at his leg, this is the greatest thing in the world. Because see, I can barely see his shin, and I swing, he can hit me the entire time. If I step, yeah, it's like this is not going to be good. I'm going to be stuck down here like that. No one would do that. Everything would be up high. All the blows would probably be this kind of stuff. Right. Uh, damn, Grant, I don't know how you handle wearing these. Oh, there's, there's no padding in them. They're hard and leather. Yeah. They've That's... actually found some of those recently in a latrine somewhere. They were actually preserved and they had little metal studs on them. Nice. I saw it online on Barry Jacobson's uh, Facebook. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. Shout out to Barry Jacobson. Hey. Hail hey, uh, Barry. We also, Casey Hendershots is a good friend of ours. That's right. We, That's we right. love him. I talk to him regularly. We uh, he, was a, he was on the uh, Dailyest Warrior uh, Viking vs. Samurai episode that we're currently disputing. Uh, also, give a little shout out to our boy uh, Tetsuro Shigematsu. We love him too. We've corresponded with him, talked to him. He's a great guy. We even thought about maybe even doing something with it, but he's just really busy and we've been working on it. We've been actually trying to see if we could do something like that, or revisit that episode, do something like that. All right. I'm probably about 15 pounds or something. The one on the show supposedly weighed 25, 30 pounds. There'd be no way to swing that. If you don't, want to, if you don't believe me, go get you a bar like this, but you can find one of these workout type bars put weights on and try moving it for real yeah yeah this is this is you know it's not gonna happen you're talking to a guy that can bench press 180 on repetition it's not even his max bench and you know this is only 15 pounds but the acceleration is yeah. so 
the acceleration is so yeah. weak. You that. really don't, you're pretty much having to use it like a, something like this, even though it is a cannibal on a club, and yes, you at any time you could come up and come down with it, uh, you pretty much have to have it in a position where if he's coming in, you can actually do something, you know? You can't just, you know. Right. It's very slow, hard to do anything, hard to trap anything. Man, that was a lot of fun today. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Great. Yeah, me too. That was it was fun. great. We have to revisit it, try it again. And we tried to myth bust it, so to speak. And we'll, right. We, well, hey, if any of our fans have any issues with this at all, if we didn't cover something, let us know. We'll come back and revisit it over and over until we convince you. And if you look, this is the shield we've used in all these tests. And yeah, it's look, there's the axe, uh, the axe hole I put in it. Where uh, our friend Mark Molina put a spear through it. Yeah, one of our videos. And this is where it just took the cannibal. Yeah, yeah, that's the old cannibal test with that log that like we were getting crap, made fun but of. We did not have linen. Now we have a layer. Of linen and That's right. uh, we'll, milk glue. Sure, and we'll do another layer. episode where we kind of show you how to do that with milk glue and linen and how to build the shield. But just so you know, this is a lot like having Kevlar. They would have several layers, not just one. We went with one layer to repair it and it worked great. Just a few patches on the back. We didn't want to waste a brand new shield blanket. Hell yeah. Man, what a great, what a great episode. A lot of fun. Well, thanks for watching, guys.